Hi, my name's Martin Harvey, and I'm here in lovely Parkgate today. It's a bit chilly, but uh, I'm going to introduce you to a new character of mine. He's called Squiggly Pete, the pirate. Now, some of you might know me from my first children's book, The Boy with the Saucepan Hat. And today I'll be talking about Squiggly Pete, another character I've made up. Now, did you know that Parkgate here used to be home to hundreds and hundreds of pirates? Yes, pirates. So I thought I'd come out today and have a look to see if I could find Squiggly Pete. I'm going to go and have a look at the chip shop in a minute. Um, anyway, let me know if you see him. Then we'll have the story. Bye. So here we are, outside the famous Parkgate fish and chip shop. Now, we know Squiggly Pete loves fish and chips, but I haven't seen him yet. Let me know if you see him. Thank you. My name is Squiggly Peter, and I love my fish and chips. I love that salt and vinegar, what dribbles down me lips. And when I'm out there pirating, my pencil in my hand, I draw myself whatever I need or whatever comes to hand. Squiggly Pete, Squiggly Pete, Squiggly Pete, Squiggly Pete, Squiggly Pete, Squiggly Pete, Arr, the pirate. Okay, so this is Squiggly Pete. There's one I've drawn already here, and I'm going to show you how to draw another Squiggly Pete type of pirate here. You know, you can make it anything you want, of course, but just in case you want to draw another Squiggly Pete, here's how we do it. First of all, we always start with the eyes, and a big nose, and of course, Squiggly Pete's got an eye patch. So we'll just colour that one in, like that. Very easily done. And, oh, there he is, he's come to life. And a nice big pirate smile. And some pretty wonky teeth. And let's colour in the rest of his mouth. There we go. As you can see, with just a few little strokes, Squiggly Pete's already coming to life. And of course, then we just fit his chin round and some nice big ears to hang those earrings in and he's wearing a red bandana with white spots it's easy enough to do there's a knot a couple of bits hanging off it and there's squiggly pete how easy was that of course he looks a bit bald around the chin so let's fill in his moustache ah now he's looking a bit more grizzly there we go squiggly pete what do you say to that? Oh, there we go. Let's put his lovely coat on with those lovely big buttons. And he's got one of these, look like an old sea captain's coat or something like that. It's got stripes or something on. He probably stole it from someone somewhere along the way. And there he goes. But I'll give that a minute to dry it. So in the meantime, I'll do, I think, a little bit of the jacket, seeing as it's not touching the wet paint there, so it won't bleed together. And here we go. Lovely bit of Windsor blue and indigo mixed in there. Lovely luscious blue colour. The nice thing about watercolours is you don't have to go up to the edge. It's nice to leave a little bit of texture in there. I think it adds to it. How easy to do that. Look at that. There we go, and all you have to do is go around and fill in the colour like that. A little smudgy bit, but never mind. It all adds to the effect. There he is. Let's go there. That is pretty much. Beat the pirate. 
finished off. And apart from his gold earrings, of course. There we go. Now, one little thing I always like to do, sorry, just add a little bit of shadow in there. There we go. One thing I like to do is get a very, very light solution of like bluey grey, just dab it in the eye. Just helps bring out. And there we go. How easy is that, eh? Squiggly Pete. The pirate. Arrgh. My name is Squiggly Peter, and I love my fish and chips. I love that salt and vinegar, what dribbles down me lips. And when I'm out there pirating, my pencil in my hand, I draw myself whatever I need or whatever comes to hand. Squiggly Pete, Squiggly Pete, Squiggly Pete, Squiggly Pete, Squiggly Pete, Pete. are the pirate. <laughs>